everyone to this week's Colour Scope. My name's Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So we are using three colours as usual. Remember to stay to the end for the colour for all of us. So our three colours are beige, green and brown. Very earthy colours. Beige, green or brown. Use your intuition to select one of those. You can select all of them as a past, present and future. Go with your intuition to guide you to what or how many numbers <laughs> of the of the colours you need right now. Okay, so are you ready? So we're using crystals for this week. You know I love crystals, of course. So our first crystal is this kind of white beige gray crystal. This is for the beige color. So this is a fairy quartz. Just look at that. It's like a little kingdom all to itself. You know, when you first look at it, it sort of looks like something's been scrunched together and it doesn't make sense or it doesn't look as pretty as you think it it could be or you just wonder what it is. And then when you really look at it, it sparkles and there's magic in it. Fairy quartz, of course, calls in the fairies. So that beige energy, you know, when you paint a house beige, we've got lots of beige, of course, in our house, it's a blank slate, it's a blank wall for other colors to come in, for other sparkles to come in, but it's full of surprises. So that beige energy has some orange in it, has some yellow in it, has some white in it, and they're all passionate. So I feel that this is saying, that you are a bit of a surprise and as a consequence this week something surprising is coming to you and it's, it's a little bit adventurous so it's almost like you have to step out of your comfort zone maybe step out of that beige a little bit and put something colorful in that blank space that maybe has been a bit of a routine for you in your life so the card that comes with this is huckleberry finn it, this is from the inner child card. So you can see that Huck Finn is there. He's fishing in this water. And you know, when I looked at this card to begin with, it felt like he was waiting for something to happen. And this again is about adventure. It's about allowing that flow to move through your life. Don't get stuck. Use the nature around you to help you with signs. So look for the signs in nature to guide you on your path towards adventure this week. <gasps> Lovely. So our second color is green. This is a gorgeous fluorite uh, point. And it has some violet in it as well. It has some amethyst purple color in it too. But it really is a shiny green color. And this drew my attention today when I was told to use the crystals. Green, of course, is the color of life. You know, when the trees sprout their leaves, that is that life opening up. It's the heart, which is life again. It's the center of the heart, center of our being, which is that life force energy. You eat greens to give you energy again, to give that life. So I feel with this, what it's saying is that there are lots of, this little, little reflective bit in this. I don't know if you can see it well, but it reflects the light. Um, there are reflections that are around you, that are about your life. I almost feel as if it's time for you to come back to your life, time for you to grow, time for you to expand, to sprout your wings, to sprout those leaves, to move maybe in that direction that you've had a desire to move in, but maybe you've been a little bit slow getting there. I feel that this is saying it's time to stand up and be strong and be counted. The green energy is also a connection, of course, to wealth and to abundance. So I feel that an aspect of this is saying, you know, look at the people around you that are abundant and draw their energy and connect with them. You can do it energetically. You don't have to have them in your presence. So just focus on their energy, draw it into your energy field so that then you can create this new gorgeous, wonderful abundance in your life, this sprouting of energy, this growth of energy. So then the card 
that went with yours is the eight of, is it, is it ones here? Yes, it's ones. <laughs> eight of ones. You can see there's all these little fairies that are coming together with the fire energy. And they are connecting to that fire and taking. To me, they're taking all the negative stuff up into the into the heavens. Anything they don't need or don't want, they're just taking it up, they're burning it away. And they are doing it as a group. So there may be a tribe for you to connect with. You know, sometimes a problem, a problem shared is a problem halved, solved. <laughs> so I feel that this will, a connection to a group will help you to move forward, to take that next step. So our final color for uh, number three is this gorgeous piece of tiger's eye. So just look how beautiful that is, this brown color. Of course, this has got the beige in it too. It's got brown and black and kind of a rusty color. When I looked at this, I kind of focused on that bit there and it felt like it was really grounded, like it was grounding into the earth on that just plain piece on the bottom. And of course, this is a, this is a heavy rock, a, he a heavy stone. So it felt like I was grounding my energy into the earth. That's what you are doing this week. You are being told to focus on your routine, focus on your schedule, get your calendar sorted out, ground yourself into the earth, make a make a list of everything that you need to do so you don't forget anything. And this has lots of layers. So I feel as if you're going to be very busy doing things that you are committed to, that you're responsible for. So, you know, number one, that beige energy was about adventure and beige is within here but it has the brown of grounding you in so it's almost like you need to make your own adventure and don't go off on on different trips or adventures this is very much about focusing on the practical things in your life right now it's not as boring as it sounds i feel that especially since this is so shiny and beautiful i feel you're gonna you're gonna get some joy from this it's almost like you're gonna feel satisfaction from it so the stone, the stone, the card for you is guardian of wands. So do you recognize the angel here? Green wings, what do you think? It's Archangel Raphael. So Raphael is looking over the earth and bringing protection and healing. So it's interesting to me that Raphael is in this card is using a technique of putting one hand up and bringing one hand down. So I feel that you need to ask your angels, ask your guides, ask the divine to bring the healing energy into your life, into your community, into um, the lives of your friends and family as well. So you are here to help to heal the planet and this, of course, will help to ground that energy too. So ask for healing, ask for Archangel Raphael to help you heal whatever it is that, that needs to be healed in your life right now. Abundance, relationships, job, etc. All right, so the stone for all of us. This one caught my eye today. So this is a beautiful, big celestite heart. And celestite is an angel crystal. Of course, I'm wearing blue. So today is a blue day. <laughs> what color is it for you today? So blue is an energy of communication. It's an energy of creativity. So it feels that this is very much about connecting to the angels, asking for their guidance and support and their help, but also using some creative ways of maybe helping yourself this week, asking your heart and asking your angels to connect with you through your heart and maybe asking a favorite artist, a favorite teacher, a, a favorite guru that could have passed into spirit, asking them to help you, to support you, to guide you. So I feel that that is what this is saying for all of us, is to ask for help from beyond, from, from through the veil. And especially this week as Halloween, All Hallows Eve, that this was at the beginning of the week, so that energy is moving through the rest of the week as well. It's not just on one day. So the card that went 
with this is Beauty and the Beast. So with this particular card, this is very much about seeing the beauty in everyone and everything around you and not making judgments. So not thinking that something isn't good enough or that you're not good enough. It's seeing the beauty in everything. And when you see beauty in everything, including yourself, that gives you power. That really empowers you. So it's going to empower all of us this week. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and let me know in the comments below if the message has resonated for you. You can also grab my free color kit if you hit the subscribe button at the top. You'll get my love letter that's weekly with articles and lots of other interesting information as well. If you want to find out when my next video is uploaded, I have them twice a week connect with me on my channel just subscribe to my youtube channel i offer services i offer different consultations you can find out more about those on my website sealedwithlove.com i will see you soon lots of colorish blessings to you bye